Koji Nagata, and then the return of Serena. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event tonight is a good open match. Step for one ball or TV time remaining. The first one for Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weight 241 pounds. The rated R Super, Super, Superstar, Adam Kuhlman. Well, I'll tell you, oh, I'll tell you, Kuhlman is definitely a violent gentleman. That I promise you. Well, Taz, he's he set up this Cope Open. He will take on any and all comers in an effort to work his way back up to Christian Cage in the TNT Championship. But the trouble with an open challenge is anybody can answer it. And, and the Rated R Superstar, I mean, may have bit off a little more than he can chew here tonight. Uh, possibly. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I think a lot of people think that, but... I don't know. Uh, Copeland, uh, he's been around the block a little bit, and he can go. You can see in his eyes, he's focused. He is locked in. And his opponent, Rami Yoko Hamachapan, weighing 220 pounds, Minoru Sasuke. One of the most dangerous submission specialists in all of professional wrestling. This is a match that, I mean, I mean I, to call it a dream match would be an understatement because this is not a, this is a match that no one I think even thought in their wildest dreams could even occur. Minoru Suzuki, a product of the New Japan Dojo under the legendary Carl Gotch. And there you hear the refrain, Kaze ni nere, become the wind. The motivating words of the solitary warrior. Look at the face of Adam Copeland, would you? Well, you talk about worlds colliding here. I mean, for those wrestling purists, this is it. You know, a match you never thought you'd see ever no, to the point you're making here, Excalibur. And Copeland. Not backing down, not giving an inch, and Suzuki returning in kind. This is a slugfest center of the ring. I'm going to I'm sorry, Tony, go. I was saying that's what he's been. He's been aggressive. That's Copeland. Taz in all of these Cope Open matches. Yeah, I know he has. And see, the thing that Suzuki did here early goings was able to bring Copeland down his height. He's got a big height advantage on Suzuki. So he's able to bring that down because sure. otherwise these forearm strikes don't help when you have a height disadvantage. Because he's got to bring his, his blow up where Copeland could bring his down. Oh, Copeland goes down. Suzuki. Yeah, Put him on a draw, I think. Yeah, I think won the bell. With the Raider R superstar. And Suzuki's not trying to go for a pin here, guys. Oh. <laughs> Overhead chop. Oh, a stunning chop. Suzuki accelerates to the rope. Oh. Copeland returns. Suzuki, nice drop stack. And oh, solid shot. And Copeland once again crumbles. That yeah, was definitely on the button. You know, forearms are forearms. But when you're not a throw and you know where to hit on a guy's jaw like Suzuki does a big. And Suzuki could be thinking that gotch style power driver here. Yeah. yeah, he might get it. And Copeland has to know that he is in danger. If the back body drops Suzuki out of it. Tough landing on the hip right there, Shivani for Suzuki. You know, you brought up a great point about the chops, Taz, about not only hitting a guy, but knowing where to hit your opponent. Yeah. Uh, and when you're a seasoned veteran, oh, they're maybe going for an arm bar. Juju Katami here, but you can see Copeland has scouted Suzuki. Yeah, firing with those those elbow strikes, preventing Suzuki from locking in the hold. As Copeland, big boom, Suzuki hanging onto the ropes. Yeah, that was some shot. And Copeland. Looking to return again. Oh, Suzuki caught him going through. Copeland was looking for the spear, and now look at this the guillotine. Got that guillotine on the apron in the ropes. It's through the ropes now. And now out to the floor. Copeland may have been going to sleep there a little bit. Trouble for Copeland outside here, guys. Yeah, there's no money. Gotta get in the ring. And look at Copeland, he's dropping down. And Copeland though. Suzuki go. And Ted, 
look at that. Suzuki clutched him. I think the back of his head hit the floor when they fell through the barricade. Yeah, I think it did. And Suzuki, he's not moving much. That was a tough landing on that man's head. You know, we've seen the prolific striking offense of Minoru Suzuki throughout this match. I mentioned his danger as a submission wrestler. When he was in, when, when he was competing in mixed martial arts, he won 76% of his fights, 22 victories via submission. As, watch this. Test. Look at this. Suzuki oh. goes through. No, it was actually Coleman maybe that it was. was. Right. I thought it was Suzuki's head like you, but it wasn't. And don't forget, fans, we're going to stay with us as long as it takes. We'll go to overtime if need be. We are so glad you're with us to see this, which is the most difficult match, no doubt, in the Cope Open so far. As Bryce Remsen, the referee, up to nine. And Coleman and Suzuki just yeah, both barely. men. Both men. Barely like, making it back to the ring. This match continues. You can see, though it hasn't been going on long, the physicality taking a toll on both men, Tony. I was just thinking that it has not been going on that long, but both men doing all they can to pull themselves to a vertical base here. Suzuki and Copeland. Teeing off on one another. Solid contact on the jaw. And, oh, every time Suzuki lands one of those elbows, Taz, Copeland has to take a moment to compose himself. He does. I mean, definitely. Those are, those are stinging shots. There's a shot right there. I, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this. I want to see Copeland win this match. That's the way I I want Cop Copeland. Hey, he's an AEW guy. I want him to win. Sure. Oh, I want to see him survive it. Surviving, man. Copeland survived a lot worse than Suzuki, in my opinion. Oh, both men, the same idea. Both men crumble. Copeland is battle tested, Shivani. Like battle tested, just like Suzuki is for decades. Trust me. Fans, we do have breaking news from Tony Khan in Phoenix. And there you see it. Two weeks away, right here on TBS. Ricky Starks, Big Bill, defend the World Tag Team Championship against Sting and Darby Allen. Wow. That is Phoenix, the Footprint Center, live on TBS on Dynamite. How about that? That, that is a huge massive. Huge match for our return to Phoenix. And Copeland and Suzuki, though, still just firing wild shots. You see both men just steadying themselves. Yeah, they really are. One other note, Sting and Darby Allen undefeated. Will they stay that way in Phoenix? Oh, look at that shot. Yeah, Suzuki really winds up. Oh, those elbows. Copeland throwing his whole body weight into that one. And Suzuki, look at that. He, he welcomes the contact. He loves the fight. And now those open hand strikes. Copeland on spaghetti legs. Yeah, can Cope hang on here? Now go, maybe go an arm bar, possibly. Good roll through by Cope. And... Oh! Impaler! Copeland lands the impaler! Minoru Suzuki, he was looking for that Fujiwara arm bar. You can see it right here. And just a good counter by Cope and just drives Suzuki on, on his head. But importantly, Taz, Copeland has not been able to capitalize on that. He dropped Suzuki. But was unable to go for a pinfall attempt. Yeah, no, he's trying to recover. That's what it is. The battle between both these men here. Suzuki looking to compose himself. After the impaler, Copeland back up, perhaps with a nominal advantage. And now maybe thinking spear on Suzuki. No, Suzuki Sorry. goes through. A Fujiwara armbar. And he's got it tight. And that armbar, Minoru Suzuki, I mean, he learned it from the namesake of Fujiwara, his, his former mentor, Yoshiaki Fujiwara, the man who invented this hold, and Suzuki has it locked in tight. Well, that guy's got that elbow cupped. It's not even the key is keeping the back of your arm on the back of his shoulder, right? And keeping your hip on the mat like Suzuki did to stay tight to your opponent, but good match sense 
by Colt to get to that bottom rope. Yeah, I think if they were any closer to the center of the ring, Suzuki might have taken that one. That'd be a submission. Go for a real choke. The choke, uh, no. Oh, the third buckle pad came Cope. off. Copeland hung on to that. He's grabbing on for dear life. Good off Greg out of that. As Copeland, the spear! Oh, that might be it. Can he cover him? Here we go. Suzuki might be done. The near leg is hooked. And Suzuki able to kick out. Well, did you see how close Bryce Rensburg hand watch the map? Yeah, good job by referee Bryce Rensburg. He, oh, he, Suzuki just rising up. As, now look at this position himself in. He's got that rear naked sleeper locked in tight. Got the legs in too. Got to turn to the side, Cope. Turn to the side and now get some wrist control and get out of this thing. Yeah, you see Copeland, he's trying to trying to relieve the pressure. Trying to take Suzuki's arm off, off of Copeland's carotid artery. He's doing the right thing and hence why he's basically almost getting out of this choke. And oh, look at... Suzuki wrenching up Copeland his face is telling the story. He is fading fast. Yeah, he's turning purple You just got to get a couple of fingers in there, but I think he's getting choked out. He's literally purple right now Look at that Suzuki just wrenching up. Is this the end of the Cope Open? It appears so guys. Bryce Rensburg on the verge of stopping this match Yeah, he might be choked choked out here. That's one. No, Copeland Copeland's up Gonna try and arm drag him out of this thing. Watch out! Oh, Suzuki going into that unprotected turnbuckle in the corner. I think he went in chin first. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Watch out here. Come on, the kill switch on Minoru Suzuki. A clear message to Christian Cage is that it is. Here is your winner, the rated R superstar. Copeland victorious tonight, but the inadvertent assist from that uncovered turnbuckle opened the path for Copeland. And there you see Christian Cage, the TNT champion, the man in the sights of the rated R superstar looking on it. He does not seem impressed at all, Taz. He looks disgust. Christian looks disgust seeing that. Edge got the victory over Suzuki. The rated R superstar. The kill switch on Minoru Suzuki to score the win. What a main event tonight on Dynamite. He's 4 0 is Adam Copeland. He's asking for a microphone here. Yeah, but this number four is going to need uh, a lot of recoup time for number five. I can tell you that. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, I've never been hit that hard in my life. Uh. Suzuki. Uh. Respect. And not taking the loss easily. And he feels like. Honestly, I would have been disappointed if he did shake my hand, wouldn't you? That was a war. The kind of war that Christian Cage knows nothing about. Christian, I am still coming for you. Flying back to the TNT Championship, still underway for the Rated R Superstar. Christian Cage, you have command, will do anything in his power to avoid another match with Adam Copeland. But how long can he outrun him? Well, fans, thank you very much for joining us tonight on Time. I remember a big weekend of AEW action ahead. Rampage this Friday night, 10 9 Central on TNT. The Collision Live, 8 7 Central this Saturday on.